Hey everyone, welcome to our new show called Is Change Good? In this show, I talk about different subjects, items, characters, or games that started off generations ago and were brought back or changed over the years in order to fit today's standards. So today, I'm going to talk about the design of a character from the Star Fox series, Fox McCloud. He was the main protagonist in his game starting from the SNES all the way to the 3DS while also starring as a playable fighter in four Smash Brothers games. Since he appeared in so many games and different generations, he inevitably went through some changes. In his first game, Star Fox, that was released in 1993 on the SNES, he never really saw a fox outside his R-Wing, the only exception being his box out cover. In game, you only see Fox's face whenever he talks to his companions, but on the actual box art, you see his full body from ears to boots. While it seems they gave Fox a more realisticish style, or rather, someone wearing a Fox costume headpiece with a futuristic like clothing, it doesn't really match the in game face image at all, but you can see his overall design, and that gave the players an image of the character that they're playing as rather than just seeing his face. For something that came out in the 90s, it was alright. Nothing too fancy or amazing, just a typical space explorer kind of design. Then Fox moved on to the Nintendo 64 in 1997 in Star Fox 64. Here he was given a full 3D model. His appearance changed quite a bit in not only his clothing style, but his face as well. It's true that the Nintendo 64 didn't quite have the power to give the characters facial expressions or movement but the creators still managed to give Fox a look that suited his personality in-game. In this design, Fox got that look that made people see that he was determined to complete his mission and get the job done, unlike his SNES counterpart. I'm in space. They also changed the color of Fox's clothing from orange to green while keeping the white jacket, gloves, and boots. The old design had a bit too much orange in him, so this was a welcome swap of color. Here they also gave him his first handheld weapon, a blaster, even though he barely uses it. After two years, he made an appearance in Super Smash Bros. 64 and was a playable fighter. Here the developers kept his Star Fox 64 design. The only real change we see here is the actual model itself. More rounded edges in order to be able to move around and fight, so no change in design here. He also kept the same design in Super Smash Bros. Melee with higher quality model and texture. One thing I should mention really quick. From now on, I'm going to be taking the detailed textures into consideration as well. The older consoles didn't have the power to show high detailed textures or models, so we got a lot of blocky characters with no color shading. But now that the consoles have the power to do such things, I think it's best that we take those into consideration as well. Moving on to 2002, Star Fox Adventures was released for the GameCube. Fox got another visual upgrade and a few new changes. His headgear was taken away, which I assume was used to communicate with his friends, but in Star Fox Adventures he used his little hologram thingy. Since the headpiece was there in all of his previous games, it feels like it was important to him, but this does give a chance to show off that fur which looked really nice. While he lost his headpiece, he did gain a knee guard, a gun holster, and a brace bracelet? Or is that part of his glove? Well, hard to tell, either way it looks kinda cool. His weapon of choice was also changed to a staff. One last thing to note is now Fox is wearing a vest instead of a jacket. Overall, an interesting change. In the sequel that came out three years later, Star Fox Assault, Fox went from being a staff user to a gunner, using blasters, rifles, grenades, vehicles, everything. No longer sleeveless, his vest got a bit more detailed. He also got these red shoulder pads with his little Star Fox symbol on it. And he got a different pair of boots. He also got a second knee guard, woo! While his fur isn't quite as fluffy as his previous self, still looks good. The main thing that changed here is the look in his face. Now, when I first got this game as a kid, I remember looking at the game case and going, is this Fox's brother? I mean, they do look alike, but at the same time, they look like entirely different characters. Let's compare Adventure Fox with Assault Fox. Adventure Fox still kept his I must complete my mission look. On the other hand, in this box art image of a Soul Fox, he has a menacing look in his eyes, and he's smiling. He looks like he's enjoying the fact that he's going to blast his enemy to bits. Then look at this one! Look at those scary fangs! 
But in the actual game, he doesn't smile and keeps his main personality, so it's just the box art that did that to him. But still. Ugh. A year later, Star Fox Command for the Nintendo DS came out. What the f- Okay, I know this is a DS game, and I can't expect as much detail as the GameCube versions, but oh my god, he looks like EW! That color! Look at that fur color! Is that even orange? Why are those random green bracelets? I can't tell if he's wearing boots or just socks. Why the fuck is his head shaped like an acorn? As you can probably tell, this is my least favorite version of Fox. But with good reason. I mean, fucking look at it! It went from this beauty to this ugly thing. Ew! He got rid of his knee pads and gun holster, which makes sense since in this game he no longer fights on the ground and only pilots his airway. Ew! I guess the one good thing that happened is that he got his headpiece back, which is kind of cool. But why did they make him look like that? Ew! That was a horrible change to his design. Moving along. Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out two years later. Sweet! I'm sure they kept the cool version of Fox from Melee or Adventure Fox. They never used that lame design from the DS version. Fuck this! I'm out! Seriously, why did they keep this version? It isn't as bad as the DS version, but his head still looks like a freaking acorn! They gave him a bunch of new toys to use that revolves around his moveset in the game. That includes a reflector, his old blaster, his holster to keep it in, brand new shin guard boots. I guess he doesn't need to protect his knees anymore. He got rid of those ugly green bracelets and got cool fingerless gloves. Thank God! His overall change in design in Brawl is actually a lot better than his DS version. I still hate the shape of his head though. In 2011, Nintendo remade Star Fox 64 for the 3DS, and as expected, they used the Fox model from Star Fox 64 and polished it. Nothing different design. Wait, is that a handgun? Doesn't he use a blaster? And finally, we arrive the latest game that Fox makes an appearance in, Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. They kept the same version as Brawl's Fox, but got a big visual upgrade, at least in the Wii U version. But the design is the same, and his head looks a little less like an acorn. So now that we've talked and seen all of the changes that Fox McCloud has been through, we can finally ask the question, were the changes good or bad? In my opinion, the changes that were made at the start were good. It built along with the character and tried a few different things on the way. The sudden change that Star Fox Command brought was bad. Really bad. It was unappealing and hideous. In the end, they fixed the newer version of Fox McCloud and I'm quite pleased with the end result. Except for his voice in Smash 3DS, that's absolute garbage. Yeah! So, what do the people of YouTube Lamp think of the topic? Do you agree for the most part? Let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please make sure to like and share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes. We also have other shows that you might enjoy like Challenge Accepted, where we take on challenges given to us by you, the viewers, and try to complete them. Until next time, bye!